Guys, welcome back to Medical Coding with Blue. Today's episode is all about some travel tips if you plan to go to a medical coding conference and some of the swag that I got at this year's American Health Information Management Association conference that was held in Baltimore. And this is 2023. So if you're brand new to my channel, welcome. I am Blue, I'm a medical coder. Okay guys, so <laughs> uh, before I get into all the fun stuff, um, when you are considering going to a medical coding conference, and especially if you are going to be paying out of pocket, you always want to make sure that you are going to do your research about the area. Now, the, the price that you're gonna spend is going to be dependent upon where you are, obviously in the US, how far you have to travel to get there and that kind of thing. But there's three main expenses that you have to really think about, um, which is the cost of the ticket to the conference, the um the hotel and the airfare okay if you are having to fly in now do you need to get a rental car when you go to these conferences no a lot of the things that you're going to need to do is going to be right in that same area not only that when you are um, at conference <laughs> you're at conference and so you are in the conference center all day long. And so you're going through a lot of different classes and you're walking everywhere in that conference center. So trust me, you don't wanna go anywhere <laughs> after a while. You want to be able to relax once the day is done and then have some dinner and go to bed and then get ready for the next day. So there's not gonna be a whole lot of driving. So if you're thinking that you have to get a rental car, that's not really something that you have to worry about. What I recommend is that whatever airport that you land in that you arrange transportation either through the hotel sometimes the hotels have shuttles depending um and if they don't um some people like to do uber or lyft i do not like to do uber or lyft i will get a car service to pick me up and that is just me that is what i insist on doing and that is what i <laughs> i have done um but Again, the three main uh, things that you have to really concentrate on when you're considering going to these places is, of course, the, the your air ticket and your conference ticket and your hotel. So the hotel, I always recommend to shop around prices, okay? So you want to make sure that you go through different vendors. If not, try to go directly through the hotel themselves. And sometimes you can get a better deal going directly through the hotel. You want to get as close as you possibly can to the conference center. Um, for me, I stayed at the Marriott, which was very close to the uh, conference center uh, there in Baltimore. It was um, a couple of blocks up and then a couple of blocks over that I had to walk. And it was really a very close walk. It was like 0.30, um, uh, 0.30 miles, it says, <laughs> so uh, a third of a mile. Uh, to be able to get to the conference center from my hotel. So I thought that was a very close hotel. I've been closer, uh, but that hotel that I stayed at before didn't have a very good rating. So I will always pay attention to those things as well. Um, the ratings sometimes play a part because you want to make sure that you, of course, the place that you're staying at is, is clean and nice and things like that. So um, where I stayed at was great. It was wonderful. It was nice and clean. The front desk staff was amazing and I, I really loved and enjoyed my stay. The room was very nice. It was very clean, which was really, really nice, uh, especially after a long day of walking around the conference center. So um, some of the other things that you have to be aware of when you're checking into these hotels, I know that a lot of people don't travel very often, but when you are traveling and you're staying in a hotel, they are going to um, save some money. Basically, you have to have a deposit. <laughs> and it's, sometimes it's like $25, it's up to $50 per day, right, that you're staying. So when you are staying in the hotel, they're gonna hold that money until you check out. So that if you have any parking fees, if you do in fact rent a car, or if you are going to the uh, restaurant in the hotel or the bar that's in the hotel, um, then you can say you could charge it to your room and they'll take it out of what they held, okay? On top of the amount that is for, you know, staying in the hotel per night. So that's the thing that you have to make sure that you keep that in mind and you have to make sure that you have all of that money available. And a lot of times they will tell you on the websites how much they will hold. And so that way you know and you could be prepared. 
Um, my hotel came out to $589 for the stay. And the air the airline ticket is uh, roughly $308. And that's just standard coach, okay? And that is from Dallas um, into DCA. Dallas into DCA, there's two uh, airports. And sometimes you have to watch that too because some of these bigger cities have multiple airports you can fly into so you have to watch it <laughs> just like in dallas dallas has two airports that you can fly into love field or you can fly into dfw most of the flights are going out of dfw um so that's the thing um flying out of dfw into dca um, that is 308 dollars coach okay um when you're flying and that's american airlines all right um so then the cost of the ticket it depends if you are a member of AHIMA or whatever association that you're with it may you may get a discount for that if you are not um, the the cost for a non-member is 995 now I did not pay 995 <laughs> I paid less than that because I got it during the um, uh, the pre-sale not the pre-sale it's early bird I got the early bird I don't remember how much it was though um, but it was less than 995 so again, if you are interested in attending these conferences, so those are your three main things that you have to, you know, save up for. Now, I do save up for these trips. I save up for these trips because these trips are very important to me. They are important because it helps me to develop as a medical coder and I'm willing to spend that money. Now, this money also is um, geared towards you know, getting your CEUs and things like that. So there's a lot of benefit to going to these conferences. And a lot of people say, well, I ain't, I'm not gonna pay and I'm not gonna do this if my facility won't send me. I pay on my own and I don't have to be prompted to pay because again, I like to attend these conferences. I do get administrative leave to go and you may wanna ask that, especially if you are having to pay out of pocket. There's a lot of places that will pay uh, for you to go for like your ticket so then Maybe all you have to worry about <laughs> is your hotel and, you know, your airfare. But, I mean, it really all depends on your facility. Sometimes you have to ask, okay? They're not going to just volunteer this information because sometimes even they don't know and they don't think about going to these conferences either. So that's something that you may want to consider when you're doing that. And you always want to make sure that you're traveling safely. Some people feel just as comfortable, you know, getting these ride shares like Uber or Lyft and that is fine. If that's you, that's totally fine. You can totally do that. But for me, I hired a car service to take me from, pick me up from the hotel and take me to the airport. And to me, that was great because I didn't have to worry about, oh my gosh, who am I going to get and who's going to be here? And, you know, and is it going to be okay? And it's really early in the morning. Those are the things that you have to consider, especially when you're traveling uh, because you want to always be safe. You want to always make sure that you pay attention to those things because, you're in a, a different city and you don't know people there most likely. And so you want to make sure that you are taking those things into consideration. It is worth it guys. Um, because the experiences that you get out of going to these conferences, again, they last forever and you make great connections uh, with people and connections that you may need further down the road. I'm just saying. So without further to do, <laughs> let's talk about some of this swag. So, um, every year, RCM gives out these really sturdy, I mean, they're like really sturdy bags. They're like canvasy type bags, but it's not canvas. It's like a plastic type, um, but it's like woven. It's really nice. I don't know if you can see it and part of my nails, but, <laughs> uh, but they always have these. I love what it says on the back. I know it's backwards. Please don't write me and tell me it's backwards. Uh, <laughs> uh, but it says coding is my bag and they have these every year please don't ever stop doing this rcm okay i love these bags everybody loves these bags trust me because everybody looks for these bags now why do i get these things from conference you say well blue you've been to these conferences why do you get them i get them for the staff i get them for my grab bag and whenever i do a class i always put the stuff in a bag like this um because it's like pens and some of the stuff that I'm going to show you right now. And what I do is I put it in this bag. And whenever I do a class for I'm teaching other coders, I'm teaching providers, I'm teaching residents or teaching students. And at the end, I say, OK, well, you know, uh, if you can answer a question, you can reach into the grab bag. 
and the grab bag has this stuff that I got from conference. So I think that that's a really great deal <laughs> and it motivates people. And I will show you some of the really awesome little gadgets <laughs> that get uh, fought over the most because people really like them. Okay. And so not everybody goes to these things. So it's really nice to come back and share this stuff. And before I did all of that, before I was, you know, uh, not in the hospital, we were in that little tin can of a room. Um, I brought back bags and bags and bags of stuff just for the girls and I told them have whatever you want because they don't go to conference and so I wanted to share this stuff with them they're like oh my gosh blue and we had all kinds of thermoses and cups and you know bottles and all this I mean we had a ton of stuff and you know I brought back a ton of stuff for them so they all loved it <laughs> I'm just saying and that was a year uh in 2014 when they had Casey and the Sunshine Band and all that other good stuff so that's a really good swag then so um, look at this little guy. Now, you may not think, oh, he looks unassuming. So this came from CBiz, right? But look, when you squeeze it, <laughs> the eyes pop out. Uh, but this is a cell phone holder. Isn't that cute? It doesn't look like it would be very strong, but trust me, it held up my phone. So this is a little, you know, one of those little cute things that you could just set on your desk. But this is one of the things that people fight over, okay? And not only that, the head part, you can use that as a duster, okay? So it's a, it's a multi-purpose little guy, so very cute. Um, and of course, he's got a little friend, which is this blue one. And this blue one, I have yellow ones that I've gotten before, and these things last forever, and they are such the perfect um, cell phone holder. So trust me, uh, when you see these things, these things are a hot commodity, and I've seen providers be like, I wanted it! <laughs> so... These things are really cute. And this thing came from um, E4 Health. So thank you guys for that, E4 Health. Um, and this is a, uh, what is it? Uh, like a lens cleaner, like a little towel lens cleaner. So this is from uh, Coronas Health which is really great. It's great to have these. I have a bunch of these everywhere and it helps because, you know, I wear glasses or I wear sunglasses and so it never hurts to have these on hand. I'm just saying. Um, and of course they come in handy for anybody that wears glasses. I love these and thank you Psyox for these. Um, this is a thing that covers up the, um, the camera on your, on your laptop. So you can, you know, use this to, you know, open and close, but these are great to have because again, it just, you know, it keeps everything secure. And I like that, you know, when you think about everything that goes on with the computer, it's kind of scary to think about, you know, um, now here's this thing. So this thing came from uh share care. This is a hot or cold pack. Isn't that freaking cute? And so when I saw it, it was all shiny, you know, <laughs> in the, um, conference hall, right? And so when I saw that, I was like, oh my gosh, what is that? And they were like, oh, it's a hot or cold pack. So you can either make it hot or you can make it cold. And then you could just use it to, you know, put on your neck or whatever, anything to that you have to make, you know, um, a hot or cold pack for. So uh, this is perfect. And I love these because you can't go wrong having these. And they're perfect for the office because sometimes like, you know, your head. <laughs> um, Psyox also gave these really great uh, koozies. You can't go wrong with having koozies, guys. You really can't because they keep all of your drinks cold. Um, before, I did have a one of these koozies. It wasn't from Psyox. It was from another vendor, but it had the code for um, uh, drinking on it. <laughs> so I thought that was really cool. And so I was looking for some this time, but they didn't have any. But uh, Psyox gave us theirs, and I love the navy blue. I love navy blue, the color. Melissa, I think it's an AI type deal, um, but they gave away one of these, their little notebook, and which I think is really cute. They have like the little sticky notes here and then more sticky notes, and then they just have like a little notepad and stuff. So it's just something that's great to just keep, you know, in your, in your bag. So that way in case, you know, you need to write a note or something like that, I constantly have to get these because... Whenever I do get these, I always write notes in them because sometimes like I'll think of like show ideas like off the top of my head and then I'll have to like write it down because I don't want to forget <laughs> um, or I have to make a list for something. I'm a list maker. That's what I do. I make lists. 
And I do that because, again, it keeps me organized. So can't always think of everything, but that's why you have your little notebook. Um, here's another one from 3M. 3M always gives out the best swag. They always do. And they always have something fun and things like that. Um, this just has like a little pocket where you could put your like your business cards in. Um, it's got the 3M logo on it. And then it's just a notebook inside, empty, empty pages. And then it has a little pen with it too. So it's really great. I love these. Thank you, 3M. <laughs> uh, but yeah, some of this stuff is what I'm going to leave in the uh, grab bag. So that way, again, whoever answers questions correctly can get that, you know. What, this one I won. This one I'm going to keep. Uh, this one came from my most favorite place besides the Optum booth and the 3M booth decision health so we had to play like spin the wheel and <laughs> this is what i won so i know you can't see it but it's a pair of wireless earbuds so see there and it's got the decision health um logo on it so thank you decision health because i am going to keep these <laughs> uh but yeah so true wireless uh auto pair earbuds with case so that's some of the cool stuff that you can win and of course they always um uh, make you enter these drawings they don't make you but you can if you want to enter these drawings to like win a purse or something like that they give away tons of purses all the time or wallets or whatever so there's a lot of those things this is a um a measuring tape from brc vital records control like an roi release of information place maybe i don't know uh but but <coughs> It has a, um, a leveler on one side. It's got the uh, measuring tape. So it's pretty pretty neat. I like it. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, these always come in handy. So trust me, the little gadgets that you get, they are quite useful, okay? Um, Solo Point was gracious enough to give out um, first aid kits, like with bandages and stuff like that. So always really great to have in your purse or in your bag because you never know or even in your desk because it's always great especially if you get a paper cut <laughs> um i like these <coughs> oh sorry this is a um uh, it's a duster too for your desk um and then you can use it you know you just put your and then you just go you know uh, it keeps your screen dust free i'm saying so these are really great for that um, and everybody likes those. I also got a selfie light and this is from Mindseeker. So thanks to Mindseeker folks, uh, for these, uh, really cool, um, selfie lights, um, because they know everybody uses those <laughs> they, and they're very handy. Trust me. So this is from guide house. It is, um, what is it? Toothpicks and mints. So you can never go wrong <laughs> having these around either. So always really handy stuff. That's what I like. The really handy stuff. Now, if you want people fighting over things in this bas in this bag, nail files. I have seen grown women <laughs> fighting over these. When I brought back a bunch of these, oh, the girls always fight over these. And especially the ones that are in these little protective cases. Um, this one came from Psyox. Psyox, they did really good on their uh, their swag. So see, you could put it in here and then it you protect it. Because if not, then it's all over the place in your purse or in your bag. But yeah, so I think it's really great. I mean, it's very helpful. And again, everybody loves these. So great job, Psyox. <laughs> um, you can't ever go wrong with having these clips. It's magnetic in the back. This one is from UCF. And again just really great to have. They're always handy to have. HC Pro. <laughs> One of the other things that I won, this is a, um, uh, what is it? It's an insulation bag. So it's great for groceries or anything like that. So this is wonderful to have. It's a good size. It's not small at all. It is a great size bag and I really love this. And of course it's pink. So <laughs> what's not to love about it? Now, drum roll please probably one of my okay so i love all of these things i'm so glad i got them i think these are really great i think they're fun um and again some of these are helpful more so than others right uh but this absolutely 
has to be my number one favorite, favorite thing from conference this year. You always have to have that one thing that's your favorite, but this one is my personal favorite. Are you ready? So you all know I love farm channels, right? Um, I, I watch I'm a Survivor Sanctuary with Lester and all his animals. I watch Longhorn Lester. I watch From Suze to Boots. I watch um, Shirtless Jake's Homestead. You know what I mean? Like I watch all of those channels. Life on Morrow Hill. These are all <laughs> channels about farm animals and uh, the people that are living on the on this Morrow Hill and they have all these farm animals. So when I saw this, I was in love. I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get that bag. So are you ready? <laughs> Isn't this the cutest freaking thing? So huge shout out to a solo point, right? Solo point healthcare solutions for this hysterical bag. Okay, so this is the code, but this is the code for peck by a turkey. Even though this is a chicken, this is the code for peck by a turkey. At least I think this is a chicken. <laughs> I don't know, who knows? But this is some poultry, right? That is looking very, <laughs> but this is the code for a peck by a turkey. So this is so freaking cute and it speaks to us as coders. We all get it, it's a joke, it's funny. But this, how cute is this bag? And it's a great size bag. It's got enough room, of course, for books. Um, then it's got the thing that you can put at the bottom to make it really sturdy. But this is, isn't this freaking adorable? I love this. Anything that has like codes on it, it's hysterical to me, but I love this chicken bag. <laughs> this is so freaking cute. But anyway, uh, so yes, those are some of the things that I got at conference and I really enjoyed myself. And it's a great time also, if you're going with coworkers, it's a great time to bond with them and get to know them as well. Um, I had a wonderful time with my coworkers there. Uh, they're in leadership, but uh, we had a wonderful time. And I think that it's great. It's great to get outside of the facility. It's great to spend that time and be there and be present, but then be learning something at the same time. And I, like I said, it's always a worthwhile venture for me to go. It doesn't matter where it is. Um, and it's possible for anybody to go. Um, because many, many years ago when I was first starting out, I made a way. If I wanted to go to these things, I made a way. And my very first conference, I made a way. And I decided from then on, this is what I want. This is what I want to do. So I adjusted my spending. I adjusted my budget. And that's what I do. Because at the end of the day, if you really want something, whether it is a class or whether it is, you know, going and taking, you know, another course somewhere for trying to brush up on something or get a book or something like that. Anything that's going to improve you, I think, oh, I will always think that it is worth it. But that's me. <laughs> and I will always be that way. So, and I will always encourage people to uh, learn, to do your research. And research even includes when you go to these conferences too. So you always want to make sure that you're doing your research and that you are getting the most out of it. And be present, you know, be present in the experience. I knew not a soul when I went to my very first conference. But in that first conference, I made two of the best, bestest friends I've ever had. And I still talk to them today. We still see each other. And I'm so thankful and so glad. You know, Leah and Darlene have been there with me on this journey since day one of going to these conferences. And I adore both of them. And they are so much fun. And I've learned so much from those two ladies. And I would never have met them had I not gone to my first conference. I'm just saying. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. But I hope you have enjoyed what I got from conference. <laughs> um, and I hope that you, if you decide to go to the national conference, great. If you want to go to your local state conference, that's always an option as well. I know for us and here in Texas, we typically have ours, I think, in the, in the spring is when it happens, either in the spring or um, early summer. But I think it's in the spring is when it happens for us. So, you know, I mean, that's always an option, but I always go to the national one anyway, or at least I try to. So, but anyway, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If this video helped you, please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.